Earlier on, let's take a look at the news roundup where four suspects have been arrested of allegations of killing one guard and vandalizing property at a popular entertainment joint. Elsewhere, Principal Secretary in the Ministry of Energy, Alex Washira, has revealed that approximately 900 transformers have been lost due to theft. This and more stories in our news roundup. <laughs> Four theft suspect linked to the killing of a guard at a new entertainment spot called Gardens, located next to the JSU camp, have been arraigned in court. The owner of the club, Jeff Washira, said the suspects were armed with dangerous weapons. The suspects are alleged to have switched off electricity after disconnecting the club's backup generator before tying up the guard on duty with a rope and hitting him with an iron rod. Sai tusemba umetupeleka hasa ya takriban milioni 3. Yule stock nilikuwa nimeweka hapa kwa hiyo counter ilikuwa roughly 3 3 point somewhere. Newly established uh, clubs like this one is only a month old has, has been targeted where these people using crude weapons they are able to attack um, you know um, the management at still Additionally, the principal secretary in the Ministry of Energy, Alex Washira, has revealed that approximately 900 transformers have been lost due to theft, estimating the total loss to be around 2 billion shillings. Washira is urging all citizens to help protect and safeguard transformers in their neighborhoods. He's encouraging communities to be vigilant against vandalism and to immediately report any suspicious vandalism of infrastructure. It is too much as a cost, as a O&M cost, to be borne by one company called Kenya Power, which we all own as individual citizens. So we are calling upon you as an individual citizen. Please help us protect our critical infrastructure. Like this transformer that we have just installed today, it is meant to ensure that this factory runs. And this factory now starts, one, employing people who are going to work in the factory. And, and in separate news, Disaster management officers from the county government of Kericho, assisted by member of the public in Cheplanget, Bureti, retrieved the body of an eight-month-old fetus, which had been thrown into a 30-foot pit. The fetus was allegedly thrown into the toilet after the mother procured an abortion. The suspect was arrested and will be arraigned once police conclude investigations, while the fetus was taken to the Kapkatet mortuary. All right, that news wrap ushers us into the second segment.